Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. So I think as I mentioned earlier, um, this pomelo came about a week ago and unfortunately the stem is was damaged and it's barely attached here. So what I've decided to do, I'm just going to cut this off. Rather than snap it off and damage the main stem, I thought what I'll do is just cut it off. I'm just temporarily until I'm ready I'm going to pop it in a glass of water so it doesn't dehydrate now it's not normally I'd like to use a, a firmer harder piece of uh, cutting material to try my first attempt on a citrus because they're um, they like to have sort of semi hardwood cuttings I think they hold the moisture more plus of course the fact that this has been uh, sort of detaching the branch means that probably it's very dehydrated so what I've decided to do is a new little experiment um, I'm going to put some of this in a pot this is pure perlite obviously I've, I've wetted it and moist it, uh, moistened it and then what I'll do is obviously squeeze it so that it's just slightly damp and I've heard and read that pure perlite is is an alternative way of rooting cuttings um, now I suppose the advantage of it it's going to have a lot of air in it and obviously it's not going to suffer from fungus gnats and other bugs and insects there shouldn't be anything in it so um, it'll just be an experiment I, I'm sure it'll be a failure but as I've got a broken branch on the uh, on the pomelo it seemed worth having a go now obviously I'll remove virtually all of the leaves just leave perhaps a couple of uh, tiny bits on the end because it's no good having all these leaves on the bottom they're going to lose moisture so what we normally do is um, what I'm hoping to do with this cutting is simply cut off I'll probably just cut off these leaves like that and that leaf like that it needs a little bit of green on it there's no point leaving the damaged leaf and then these ones at the bottom I shall uh, I will actually take off completely uh, just like that basically so what we'll end up with is a green is a green stalk with a couple of uh, a couple of chopped off leaves at the top. Probably need a little bit of uh, let's get all of these damaged ones off. Now never used to do this one-handed. Obviously, I'm going to take all of these leaves off here. I don't see that the thorns will cause much of a problem. And finally, the bottom one. So that will end with a, I'll end up with a stem looking like that. And what I'll do is I'll cut it just below this leaf node there, dip in a bit of rooting hormone and then put it in the perlite, which is going to go in another pot. And we'll have a little experiment, see if it works. I'm not expecting any success, but you never know. It's worth having a go anyway, just to see what happens. So um, I'll come back to the video after I've... Uh, got to that point so here we are back again there's the cutting trimmed and what I've done is I've put it in this perlite and that's gone inside a clear container which I've put in another uh, inside another plastic coloured container and the idea of that I hope is that it'll keep the perlite damp and also well, I'm expecting it not to root, but if it does happen to root, I'll better check the roots out in the container. And I've also put a couple of, um, while I was at it, a couple of pineapple guava cuttings in, and also my uh, tamarillo that's been start to produce roots in water, because I thought it'd be fun to see. Pineapple guavas are extremely hard to root from cuttings without a mist propagator, which I haven't got. So I'm just going to put them in this container cover them with a lid which will keep them humid in a light position and hopefully keep the fungus gnats out so thanks everybody for watching much appreciate it please remember to give me a thumbs up share the video with anyone you think's interested uh, subscribe to my channel of course and if you do remember to uh, click on the bell you will get notifications of new videos as I put them, which will include updates on whether or not any of these root. So I'll catch up with you soon. Brett out for now.